What's up guys, Simply Coco here and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another speed build as you can tell. Um, today we are doing yet another snowy build um, on the channel. Um, I'm really inspired by the snowy escape pack that is coming out, the newest expansion pack. It will be out next Friday I believe and I'm so excited, cannot wait. Um, so, just before I go any further, I just wanted to say that um, I did record this voiceover once already, but it um, was recording through my webcam's audio and not my microphone. So, that's why this video is coming out late today because I had to redo it and I did not want to redo it last night at 12 o'clock at night. So, um yeah, so the election is still going on. I talked about that in my last video briefly, I believe. So if I seem a little bit frantic or um, if I'm talking too fast or anything like that, it's just because I'm anxious and nervous and just want the whole thing to be over with. But um, yeah, anyway, enough about that. So uh, as you can tell from the title, um, this is kind of a modern, a modern cabin. I am building in Granite Falls on the green getaway lot. Um, once we get into the interior, I will say that I don't clutter it up very much because it is a rental lot. You can't actually have a um, residential lot in the vacation worlds yet. Um, oh no, not at all. They actually answered that. You, you will be able to, whenever Snowy Escape comes out, the, the patch before that, you will be able to put rental lots in residential homes which i mean residential worlds but you can't put residential lots in vacation worlds sucks i don't know why they wouldn't have done that too but it is what it is so if you did want this home to be somewhere else you would have to place it there yourself um yeah <laughs> but it's i'm just doing the exterior right now um i'm starting on the landscaping um, I don't really remember what I was going to say, <laughs> but, um, I go for this really dark and kind of copper look on the outside, but the, on the exterior, but the interior color scheme is very, very different. I'm quite obsessed with it though. And I'm going to have to use that color scheme, uh, somewhere else most definitely. Um, but I'll get more into that when I get into the in actual interior, um, but what was I saying? I was saying that I don't clutter it up very much because it is a rental property. So uh, I didn't want it. I didn't want it to look like people. I didn't want it to look lived in, pretty much, because um, it's a rental property. So you wouldn't have you know constant clutter laying around. So I kind of um, decorated it or cluttered it as if it was like an Airbnb that, you know, the person that owns it just made, just made it look nice, basically. Um, sorry if I'm saying um a lot. If you, <laughs> if you watch my stuff, you know that I just do that. It's really just a slight pause so I can think. But anyway, uh, I would, like I said, I think I'm going to call this a modern cabin. Uh, you may disagree that it may not even look like a cabin to you, but I did use the spa day wood paneling on the exterior and all in the, in well, no, the interior is mostly uh, eco lifestyle uh, wallpapers, but I did use the wood paneling to kind of give the illusion of it being, you know, made, you know, straight from wood <laughs> and being a cabin. But now I'm just placing debug rocks around to make it blend into the world a little bit better. Um, I really like how I put that one tree in kind of like that bump out of the house or in the, in the center of the house. Um, yeah, now I'm doing the interior. As you can see, I went with this light color wood paneling and flooring from Eco Lifestyle. And the accent colors are black, gray, and white on the interior. And I'm really, really happy with it. Like I really enjoyed uh, this color scheme on the inside, and I really want to recreate it somewhere else. Maybe in an maybe in an apartment, maybe a luxury apartment, or 
um, another house. I, I don't know, but it just really seemed to fit the cabin vibes for this lot or for this build. But um, yeah, so it's very open floor planned in here. So it's the kitchen. It's only going to be separated by this small um, bar space, which I did condense down to only being two seats because um, I needed to push this table further back to have room for the living room. I do use a picnic table instead, just because of, for aesthetic purposes. Um, I don't know if your Sims will treat a picnic table as if it's a dining room table. I think they will because for my group trouble let's play, um, they would always go outside and eat on the picnic. No, it wasn't a picnic table. It was a dining room table outside. Never mind. <laughs> so I don't know if your Sims will actually use the picnic table as a dining room table, but um, you could make them sit there and eat <laughs> if you want. So, uh, and they may, since there is no other dining room table in on the lot, they may sit there by themselves. Um, and yeah, it may act as a, dining room table but anyway here's the living room um area as you can see i'm using a heck of a lot of eco lifestyle uh sorry if you heard that i hit my mic but the couches are eco lifestyle that little chair is eco lifestyle um the console table that the tv's on is eco lifestyle this console table is from eco lifestyle the what is it the fireplace that I used is eco lifestyle there's a lot a lot of eco lifestyle in this build um and it will it's yeah and it's probably going to be very difficult for you to download this if you do not have eco lifestyle um, I don't know if I said this in my last voiceover for this video or yesterday's video but um let me know down in the comments or on discord um or on twitter if you want me to start doing more limited pack builds because i understand not everyone has every single pack um i don't even i'm missing like four stuff packs um but yeah so you did just see me put a rug in the kitchen i'm not quite 100 percent sold on that rug it really just went with the color scheme and then also over the console table next to the front door i put one of the asian inspired I don't know if it's a painting or a picture. I don't really know what it's meant to be, but it is like Asian inspired. So um, this build wasn't necessarily supposed to have a Japanese feel, um, but I, I used that painting because it had the black, the white, and the light wood tones in it, and that's the color scheme I was going for. So the kind of storyline that I came up with in my head is maybe an Asian family owns this um house and they just rent it out to um whoever wants to rent it out so it's basically an airbnb um i wish we could like actually do that in the sims like hat like we could own like we could make our sims own another property and then like rent it out and make money that way that'd be cool maybe if we maybe if we ever do get resorts and hotels that's something they can implement in that um but yeah that I think it's toddler toddler room stuff is where that rug in that small hallway is from that I just put. I end up getting rid of it because in the hallway on the other side of that hallway, I wanted another runner rug. So I just thought it would have been overkill to put a rug there and have this uh, like polka dotted rug. So I just put the runner right there as you where you see me putting it that runner is from seasons and i always forget about that runner rug it's a really great rug for hallways excuse me and whatnot so yeah um now i'm just kind of trying to figure out how i want to decorate this hallway i end up putting a console table under this photo i use this my first pet stuff uh couch in front of the window um I don't know how I feel about that either. I think it would have looked better and been more useful had I put like two chairs and then with a table in between and then maybe a bookshelf next to it to be like a little reading nook. Um, and then also this little hallway, I wanted to put more there, but it just, I don't know. I didn't want it, to, I didn't want it to be cramped. So I ended up just leaving the island living 
kind of modern looking um, couch and the I think that plant is from perfect patio but I absolutely love that plant and this is the master bedroom as you can see it this master bedroom is where you can find the um, access to the front porch um, that kind of covered area if you remember seeing it while I was laying out the um, laying out the build <laughs> But um, so I do end up using that rug that I was that I had in that hallway in here, as you can tell. Um, I did include TVs in both bedrooms. So there's this master bedroom and then there's a kids room. Um, the, the kids room doesn't have to necessarily be a kids room. It could be for teens or other adults, young adults or regular adults, or it could be for um Elders, it just really depends on who you're going to have vacation to this lot. So it's completely up to you. But there's this room, which has a double bed. And then the other room will end up having two single beds. And those two single beds are also from Eco Lifestyle. So again, if you don't have Eco Lifestyle, it's going to be quite difficult for you to download this lot. And off the top of my head, I can't really think of another pack that might uh, suffice. Um to replace a lot of the objects that I used. Maybe I, I really can't even tell you without looking at the objects. So I'm sorry about that. Um, I can vouch for Eco Lifestyle. So if you don't have it, I do recommend you buy it. I don't play around with the gameplay a lot ever since I um, finished my Living Shared Eco Lifestyle Let's Play. But I, the build and buy in that pack is top notch. I probably use it in every single one of my builds. Um, so I would suggest buying Eco Lifestyle. Um, I will have a pack review coming out soon. Like, not a pack review, but a... Um, I'm going to rank all of the packs. And I think I'm going to start... I'm going to start with the expansion packs, then game packs, then stuff packs. Reason... I think normally when people do that, they start with the stuff packs because their stuff packs but I don't own all of the stuff packs so I can't really rank them fairly um I mean I, it's pretty safe to say the four stuff packs that I don't have I would probably rank last but I want to get them first so I'll probably do expansion packs first um so watch out for that video in the coming weeks but anyway this is the kids room or just the secondary room of the rental property um I am completely completely obsessed with this room you would think since it's only because i used the wolf's tooth or whatever this is called <laughs> pattern on the beds and you would it's really gray more it's more so gray than black so you would think having all of this gray and light wood tones and white that it would be very very bright in that room but it i guess because there's only one wall light and one window that it wasn't very like harsh but I love, love that room. Like it's so pretty to me and so much so that I want my future kids to have a room that looks like that, like almost to the T because I just think it's so pretty. Like it's, sim it's simple, but I don't know. I don't know the perfect word for it, but it's, it's simple yet, um, gorgeous yet pretty <laughs> yet nicely decorated i don't know but anyway here we are cluttering up the kitchen again i just wanted the i just wanted it to look like a rental property i didn't want to put a whole bunch of clutter in here i didn't want it to necessarily look lived in i just wanted it to look like um it was well decorated so i put these things over there in the corner to make it just look like they're decorative maybe those lemons aren't even real all of that over there is just decorative obviously a coffee pot obviously a microwave um, some cooking utensils I do delete the tea thing because I just didn't find anywhere where I actually wanted to sit it and then that other eco lifestyle object with the cups um, and like the bottle it kind of looks like sparkling water would be in that bottle but um yeah, that's pretty much it, you guys. The screenshot should be rolling now. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will always respond to your comments. And please hit that notification bell. That way you know exactly when I post my next video, exactly when I post it. And I will see you all then. Don't forget to join my Discord server. That link is down in the description. And please follow me on Twitch. That is also down in the description as well. And I will see you all later. Bye, guys.